Welcome to this Tutor to You topic video that looks at a case study of large scale agriculture growing produce in greenhouses in Almeria. This is part of paper two, unit C, the challenge of resource management. Almeria is in the southeast of Spain and is extremely arid with around 200 millimetres of rainfall annually. Despite this, it grows most of the UK's out of season crops such as tomatoes, cucumbers and lettuce. But how does it manage this with such a dry climate? Almeria is home to the largest concentration of greenhouses in the world, which you can see pictured on the screen, spreading over 26,000 hectares in this part of Spain and growing over half of the fruit and vegetables eaten in Europe. These greenhouses are an example of a large scale agricultural development and they are owned and run by a mixture of individual farmers and large agribusinesses, Farms are run like huge commercial companies. There are several reasons that large scale agriculture has developed in Almeria. One of the main reasons is the demand for out of season produce from other countries such as the UK. And this region of Spain has an average temperature of 20 degrees Celsius and averages over eight hours of sunshine. So even in winter, crops can grow in the greenhouses without any artificial light or heat. This significantly reduces cost of production. Technology has also helped. Recycled plastic has been developed to build the greenhouses and newer and faster methods of transport has meant that shipping is cheaper and more efficient. Costs are also lower because of cheap migrant labour from Northern Africa. There are many benefits of large scale agriculture in Almeria. Cheaper fresh fruit and vegetables are available all year round. Because of the proximity to the North African coast, there is plenty of cheap migrant labour, as well as migrant workers from elsewhere in Europe. Advancements in hydroponics and drip irrigation means that less water is used for food production, which is important in such an arid area. A new desalinisation plant has been built to filter seawater and supply fresh water to the area. Because it is warm and sunny all year, as you can see on the screen, there is little need for artificial lighting and heating, which means that the energy costs are low. And finally, the greenhouses generate a multiplier effect with jobs in local packing plants and factories that make the recycled plastic used to construct the greenhouses, but also highly skilled research and development roles within the scientific and agribusiness companies that have located in the area. However, there are also plenty of drawbacks of large-scale agriculture in Almeria. The greenhouses might provide many job opportunities, however, the migrant workers employed are often paid very low wages, and there are reports of them living and working in poor conditions. Unfortunately, because many of these workers are working illegally, they have no power to challenge their working conditions. Despite the fact that the water is being supplied by a new desalinisation plant and hydroponic techniques use less water, there is still a huge demand on groundwater sources which are drying up. The local environment is also being affected. For example, plastic is being dumped into local rivers and the sea, which impacts marine habitats. And there is a lot of litter in the locality, including plastic sheeting and empty fertiliser and pesticide containers. This type of agriculture also uses lots of pesticides, which can have a health impact for workers. Many people also feel that the greenhouses are an eyesore, with thousands of hectares of land covered in plastic, which has ruined the local environment. Finally, the locals also complain that the greenhouses have caused a slight drop in temperatures in the area, as they reflect the sunlight back to the atmosphere, whereas the rest of Spain has seen an increase. That concludes this Tutor to You topic video focusing on large scale agriculture in Almeria in southern Spain. Thank you for watching.